All right, this is a video of the home on Metamore. This is a flip home, and it's actually a friend of mine did the flip himself. Uh, well, he hired a lot of contractors, but it's his project. And with this flip, he did a ton of electrical work, plumbing work, LED lighting, made it a smart home on a lot of the lighting and the um, heating and cooling systems and did put in all new windows. It would need blinds. Um, the one thing, well, I'll walk you through the house first and then I'll go outside. A nice big front living room. Fireplace is plumbed for gas. All of the cabinet work is a soft close. He did include the refrigerator, which not everybody does. Really like his tile choice for his backsplash there. Countertops. The floor is a um, floating vinyl. First bathroom. Tile work, shower tile. That's hard to see that light. Maybe I'll get the no. I think um, this house is originally built in the 50s or 60s. I'm not sure, but I think one of the things that you might find lacking is the fact that um, here's the master. It is a lot of times it's the size of the master and the lack of a walk-in closet, even though there are large double closets. And then the master, you know, not it's not large with double sinks or anything, but it's all really well done. Just might be a little smaller than you're expecting. Hi! <laughs> I really like the tile that he chose in the shower a lot. I think it's beautiful. Floor tiles. <clears throat> This would be bedroom number two upstairs. Nice big closet in this one. Here's a good look at the carpet. The, the downside is that this is really close to the busy road and some commercial things. Right over there is a bank. It's nice because there'll be a lot to walk to. There's a massive, um, I think it's about 14 acre parcel right on the other side of that truck. And that is going to be an ivory homes development. They're going to do some homes, condos, apartments, and retail space all combined with walking paths in that big place over there. And I think that actually will be a bit of a draw to the neighborhood. <clears throat> I think he did windows and doors, um, replaced all the heart, the cabinet tree, the built-ins. And I will take you... The lawnmower guy brought his dog over. He's just staying outside. He doesn't come in the house. Here is what it looks like in the backyard. Side entrance, a little extra RV parking, I guess, if you ever needed it. Hi. Okay, stay out. And here is the entrance to the garage, an attached two-car garage. Pretty normal size. All right, here's the basement. This is a little low. Um, you could, if you weren't careful, you could probably hit your head on it when you were walking down if you're over 5'11". Uh, this is the laundry area, laundry room, storage area. Downstairs bathroom. 
This is just a half bath. There's no shower down here. Another bedroom. Pretty decent sized living space. Same carpet as upstairs. More storage with a crawl space. An older furnace, but that is something that a home warranty would cover and we'd be sure to get that included for you. And this is, oh, just another cold storage space. Closet. All right, so downsides for me is I love the, um, the upstairs finishes. I don't like that there's no shower here. That's kind of a big deal to me to not have a third shower when you have company. And I know like the unfinishedness of this might kind of bother you, but I wouldn't say that is something that I necessarily think was a functionality problem, if that makes sense. But I don't love the busier street. Um, I really love my quiet and lack of traffic, and this would be a pretty thorough street for um, the subdivision. So that is my summary of this house. And if you like it, I can dig more, get some comps, get some details. Anything that you are interested in finding out, I will find out for you. I'm gonna step outside. So you can hear the, the road and see what the traffic